Hey y'all, welcome back to l and Honeycomb Homestead. Today I will be showing you how to make some spreads this week. And I'm going to show you because you're going to be so happy that you learned how to make these spreads. You can put it on butter, you can put it on crackers, you can put it on whatever you want to put it on. But today is going to be the first day of making some spreads. And when I say spreads, that means butter mixed with different type of ingredients in it. So that's a spread that can go on just about anything and you will like these spreads. So the first one we're gonna do is the almond, okay? And if you're interested in wanting to know how I did this almond one, stay tuned. Hey honeybees, these are the ingredients that you're gonna need for your almond spread. Since I already had some almonds, I'll be using these, okay? You're gonna need a cup of that almond right there or any kind of almonds you find okay so you're going to need some almonds and you're going to need a cup of that and you want to want them crushed like so you can have them some big chunks you can have it either way you want to to taste that almond okay so you're going to need a cup of that you're going to need two tablespoons of honey and you're going to need some butter unsalted butter and you want it to be already soft okay so let it sit out if it's hard go ahead and let it sit out so it can soften for you okay and you're going to need a mixing bowl okay this is what you're going to need and also you're going to need some parchment paper don't forget about the parchment paper because this is what you're going to have to have okay and last one, let's get to it so i'm going to go ahead and open my butter and put it in a bowl like so put that all in there break the rest of that stuff off in here okay so here is the almonds you're going to put that on top of that butter and then you're going to have you some honey And when I tell you it is good, y'all, this is a nice spread. This is good for holidays and everything. So you want two good, even sized spoons of honey. Now, the recipe calls for two, but I just like the taste of honey, so I want to make that another spoon. Okay. And you're going to take that and you're going to stir all this stuff in. It's going to go into like a ball type way, but you're going to shape it with that parchment paper. Make sure you get all of the almonds on this butter. At this point, if you want to add a little bit of salt, kosher salt, you can, but I don't add it because I like the sweetness in here, okay, want that good and mixed, okay, and it's going to look just like this, it's going to look like that, okay, I'm going to show you the next step. Now you're going to get your parchment paper and you're going to tear your piece of that off. It's going to have to be really big, just enough. It don't have to be all pretty either. I'm going to show you what you're going to do with it. Okay, so 
I'm gonna hold that in with that side. So you're gonna scoop this up and put it on the parchment paper. Shake it up. I'm gonna shake it. The shape you want it to be. Okay. Now that you got it good and shaped, on the end of the cup, you're gonna place it in the refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes. In the 15 minutes, so that way the, the butter can harden up. So, and we'll come back after this has hardened up, and then I'll be able to show you the next step. Okay, now that the 10 minutes is up, I want to show you how I eat mine. Okay, so I got a piece of my homemade bread that's right here, and open this up so that way you can see how. It is packed on here. You can see the honey and all that. And it smells so good. It smells so good. But what I do is, I take a little piece. Take just a little bit of that spread. Put it on your bread just like so. And this is really good, y'all. Okay, you see it? You can see the texture and everything in it. And then I take my slices of tomatoes, like this. Just like that. And I'm gonna bring the camera up so you can see. <laughs> But there it is. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's real good. And there you go. You can put this on toast. You can put this on briquettes. You can put this on crackers. You can put this on any dish if you want to. You can put it on your sandwich if you want to. Make a sandwich out of it just like I did. And also that bread, I even toasted it just a little bit so it can have that good flavor as well with the toast. So that's pretty much it, y'all. That's pretty much it. So there you have it. Some almond spreads. Just that simple, just that simple, y'all. And it's really good. And if you're interested and wanting to know some more, I'm going to come back tomorrow and give you another recipe. So thank you for coming to L&L Honeycomb Homestead. And y'all have a wonderful day. A wonderful day. Bye-bye.